Alright, so as you can see, my desk, well, my workbench is a glorious mess. <clears throat> and here I have the uh, corpse of my old burner setup for my forge. And the shiny new setup that I've got going on. So basically these things plugged into the back of these iron pipes that formed the burner bodies. And these things were always pretty wiggly, even when I got enough tape on there to where it was fairly well centered. And this stuff just isn't very durable. It, it's just not good. <clears throat> but uh, I got the air inlets drilled here and the... Um, the three quarter inch to one inch couplers as the flares for these torches and they seem to work pretty well they're what I've used for since I've they're what I've used since I actually made torches that worked but this time I upgraded um, the parts I was using a little bit um, these are all actually supposed these fittings are all supposed to be used for <coughs> gases and liquids and stuff um, and I've sealed all of it up. It's all nice and efficient and sealed. So I'm gonna turn the burners on and run them. Basically the gas flows out of these little 1 16th inch holes here. Um, I would have made the holes a little smaller, but 1 16th was the smallest drill that I had. So I just used that. <coughs> but the gas flows out of here after I plug it in and sucks in air through these inlets which the gas and the air mixture mix well the gas and the air mix as they flow through here and then combust in here and blast out as a flame so <clears throat> i'll show you guys how it works um, i've got a little 20 pound propane tank and a i think 0 to 30 psi regulator on it which is plenty for two burners. Let's see. this torch with which I will light the bigger torches. burning right now it's a little bit a little bit less pressure than I'd probably use if I actually were firing them in the forge but I'd probably crank them up a little more like that seems to work pretty well on these new it's basically just a new way I'm assembling the the actual gas blowing assemblies here uh, the torch bodies and the torch flares are the, still the same because those work fine and I was pretty happy with them <coughs> but um I'll actually show you the parts that I used here um, basically this is a these are all little brass, um, like, air hose fittings and stuff. 
that you can get at Lowe's. I got all these parts at Lowe's. <clears throat> uh, this is a, uh, hat, a quarter inch threaded on the inside end cap with just a little hole drilled in the outside of it. <clears throat> um, there's a 90 degree elbow here with the same quarter inch pipe thread and then a same thread on this little piece with the barbs. This is a quarter inch barb but this is actually a 5 16 inch interior diameter hose because uh, the quarter inch hose would have just been a huge pain in the ass to get on. This was pretty tight as it is but the quarter inch hose would have just been impossible. Um, but then under the tape here I've got a um, a two inch long um, what's called a nipple yeah I know it's a nipple but it's basically just a small length of pipe that's got both ends threaded and they're both ends are threaded on the outside for the quarter inch pipe thread <clears throat> and then I've got just this clear flexible tubing and then the same uh, barbed setup on this little T-junction thing which this is actually a 3 8 inch diameter thread on these um, barbs on the outside and on this T-junction on the inside and then just a little connector here to fit onto the um, <clears throat> the hose because the hose ends in a 3 8 interior thread a female thread which you need the little male coupler to fit this T-junction and the end of the hose together. And I've used plumber's goop to seal all of the connections. Um, and then this little bit I had to tape over because even though it was sealed with the goop, um, it was still a little bit flexible and I figured I'd just rigidify it a little bit so that the the more that adhesive... I mean, the, the adhesive has some flex to it, but the more you force it to bend, the sooner it'll probably fail, I figure. So <clears throat> I just taped over that to make it last a little longer. But um, this is actually a fairly expensive way to make these burners. Uh, the way I was doing it was significantly cheaper, but a lot shittier. And I mean, any time I've just gone the full mile and spent more money to get better equipment, I've never been disappointed. Um, just... If you get the right tools for the job the first time, you'll just be happier overall. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, I hope this has been informative for you guys. Oh, and, uh, as far as this goes, this is just a three-quarter inch black iron pipe with a, um, three-quarter inch to one inch, uh, coupler. You can see it's actually threaded on the inside there because this is supposed to have a one-inch pipe plug into it. But... Um, this is just where the combustion happens on the torch. I'm uh, not actually going to touch that because it's still probably pretty hot. Yeah, it's still kind of warm. <clears throat> but yeah, these holes just allow the air to s get sucked in by the low pressure of the gas and combusts in the flare. And voila, you've got over a 2,000 degree flame. And if you put it inside some... <clears throat> Uh, wool here, like, well not wool, but um, like insa wool or kea wool or some sort of ceramic insulatory refractory wool material, you can get a very, very hot forge. And these burners seem to work pretty dang well, and I'm going to be making six more of them for the new forge that I'm building to heat treat longer blades. But these burners as it is will work in the forge that I've got down here. Um, I've actually got the flares welded onto the sides so I can just screw the pipes in and plug in the little outlet things for the propane and Bob's Drunkle. I've got new burners for the same old forge, <clears throat> which will be nice because I can keep this one running f until such a time as I am actually able to afford to build the new one. But I hope this has been informative for you guys and just... Have a great day.